Hey Moonies. Um, I'm here with you today. It's been a while. Uh, and not that I haven't been buying stuff, I have. Um, but it, a lot of times when I do videos, uh, I want to do something that's different than everybody else is doing because, well, there's 10 bazillion other review videos on the same thing. However, today, what uh, some, some of the things here are, I've never seen reviews on some I have, but I wanted to ex just extol the virtues of Amazon Japan. Recently, I, I placed an order with Amazon Japan. It was super simple, easy, and it was $15 with uh, shipping with DHL. Let me repeat that. That was $15 with DHL. Oh my God. Like, I don't, I don't think EMS like is ever that cheap. And now, and now that uh, Japan uh, EMS and Japan Post is now shipping internationally again, particularly to, to the US, United States, uh, their prices have actually gone up. So I just wanted to rave about this and tell you all about it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, so where should I start? Well, first I'll start with the reason why I kind of like don't normally, I didn't previously really buy from Amazon Japan because the last time I bought from Amazon Amazon Japan, um, I bought this Anasui mug, which, oh my gosh, isn't this the coolest thing ever? Um, and unfortunately, like, uh, when I purchased this, I realized that it was from an independent seller who di didn't ship internationally. So I had to use a proxy service to purchase this on Amazon Japan. Uh, so that was fine. I mean, fine. Um, however, this $15 from DHL business is from Amazon directly. And, um, so yeah, so all the items you are now going to see is what I purchased from Amazon directly. Well, from Amazon. Amazon. First up is actually another Anasui item, which is kind of strange that, like, things like Anasui items just kind of, like, pop up. Like, I thought, like, Anasui items are, like, super, super limited and, like, only, like, selling through a satan or something like that, but I guess not. So there's that. Um, anywho, so to add to my Anna Sui, um, I don't know, hand towel collection is this beauty. Now, originally I didn't purchase this because I, I, it's sometimes it's really hard to, uh, understand the texture of some of these items. Like I thought this was an actual, like, uh, like a, a silk handkerchief. So that's why I really didn't, I didn't originally buy it. Um, however, looking more closely, it was, it was, you know, it's called a smartphone towel, which I thought it was going to be one of those like little tiny, like microfiber towels, you know, for like glasses. Again, not really. Like it's, it's much more like a towel, um, like rough around one side. I guess it's a bit, I guess it's a slightly more of a microfiber feel on the other side here. Um, it does clean my phone. So that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to use this for anything else, but just, ah, oh, isn't that, ah, oh, oh, maybe I'm going to, maybe I'll buy more of these. I was trying to like rein it in a little bit. I don't know. But anywho, um, let's see, do I have the price for this? Do, 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 arrangement tea. Oh, no, that's definitely not it. I don't remember how much this was, but okay. But I got directly from Amazon Japan. Um, a lot of the things you can buy directly from Japan or from Amazon Japan are like the Sunstar stationery, uh, the brand pest, brand pesto, brand pesto, pesto, hmm. <laughs> brand pesto items. Uh, and so one of the items I figured I needed, but generally I don't, well, here, let me just show you. So it is the Princess Serenity, uh, like I guess multi-ink pen. What is it called? It says Dr. Grip 4 plus 1. Now, generally, I don't particularly care for these types of pens just because I find them to be kind of weak and like you start using one color and it will, and it, maybe I press too hard and just like it will just reset itself. So that is why I generally don't like this. But uh, I figured I did need some more pens because some of my pens have been dying around the house. I am still working from home, so I can't steal more pens from office. Okay, let's see. And this pen was actually, I mean, it was pretty, 
It was uh, about 17 US dollars. It's official. You can see the gold sticker there. No. This is, uh, I don't know, I think this is a Sailor Moon Crystal image. Let's see, it just says the 25th anniversary, so maybe not. Maybe it is just a regular. Actually, I take that back. I think it looks nice. It's 90s. The 90s image but no isn't that pretty they had actually uh three versions of this of three types of pens like these one that was dark pink uh and then another one that was dark blue with all, a di little different motif there um i don't know it has a nice weight to it let me try this out Ooh, it, it goes nicely or writes nicely i should say Okay, so I think, was it four colors there? Four, yeah. There we go. We got red, green, blue, and black there. And on Princess Serenity note paper. Uh, okay, what else? Oh, so the lastly, um, so I purchased four of the uh, Maybelline New York Color Stay uh, lipsticks. Uh, current right right now I have uh, Mars, Mercury, and Jupiter. Currently I'm wearing Mars, and I would have to say it's my favorite uh, so far. Um, I don't know the the pinky of the of Mercury. I mean it's okay, and then this Jupiter brown is like really dark. So I don't know. Maybe I'll learn to love it. I don't know. Um, all of them have Sailor Moon on one side and then the other character on the other. Uh, it was interesting um, is that I purchased the Sailor Venus one, but it didn't arrive. So I'm assuming they're going to send it to me again, and they're not going to charge me again for shipping it to me. So that's that's interesting. Um, and um, they did, the first time I purchased from Amazon Japan, they just it was. This like arrived in like a little, just a paper manila envelope. And then when I purchased the second set of items, they did send it in a box, uh, strand, you know, shrink wrapped on a, on another box, you know, cardboard board here. So that was really cool. Um, let's see, the Maybelline lipsticks were about sixteen dollars each, I believe. Yes. $16 each and actually what's interesting like you know I am not particularly uh, like I'm not a huge fan of just buying something that has just like so I'm slapped on it like like I don't know you could I can show you all my like makeups and compacts back there that's like when I go with for the makeup I go large here we got some of some of those the black lady and princess serenity lipsticks up there like I go big or go home, right? So, uh, but the reason I actually bought these was because um, I, during the pandemic, I was like playing around with some uh, samples I had from this Lip Mite show, and they were like very matte and, and long staying power. Uh, and I had a lot of fun with them. So that's why I was just like, well, I'll just get these like to have fun with, to use on a daily basis. And for some reason, if like I lose one of them, I'm not gonna like lose my shit. You know, so, um, so that's why I bought these and I'm having so much fun with them and, um, I do highly, highly recommend them. So I think that's about it. Um, I think actually right after this, I think I'm going to go buy some more crap on Amazon Japan. I think I might go look for that Sailor Moon Eternal puzzle and then the Sailor Moon Eternal statue. Um, I think those things are something you could probably find off of there. And yeah, have you purchased from Amazon Japan before? Uh, why or why not? And um, if you have any questions, let me know below. See ya.